in today's video, gonna be walking you through the process of how to transfer files from your phone to your PC through a USB cable. Now, I would just use the USB cord that comes with your phone. It's probably the one that you use to charge your phone with. If you have a really cheap USB cable that you're using, it might not have file transfer capability, so that is something to keep in mind. But you need to find an open USB port on your computer. You're gonna plug it in. You might have to go to the back if you don't have USB ports on the front of your PC, or if you're on a laptop, they could be located along the sides. The other end is gonna be plugged in to your phone. And once you have one end plugged into your PC, the other end plugged into your phone, over on your screen, you should get something that pops up. I'm on Windows 10, it opens up the Photos application and it says we're having trouble connecting. Not a big deal if this pops up for you as well. I'm gonna show you how to make it so that your phone and computer can communicate with each other if you are getting this prompt. So over on my phone, what I'm gonna do is open up the settings. So I'm gonna drag down the top area and click on the little gear icon. That's gonna open up my settings. Go down where it says Bluetooth and device connection and select that. And then go down to where it says USB and select that option. And in here it says no data transfer. That's what's currently selected. That's why we're not able to transfer data. So we're gonna go ahead and click file transfer and that's gonna allow our phone and PC to communicate with each other. As soon as I do that, I go back over to my computer screen and it now says that it is looking for new photos and videos. It's gonna scan through your phone and find all of those new photos and videos that you want to transfer. And you can select whichever ones that you want to transfer over to your PC. You can click import selected at that point. I like doing this a different way. So I'm gonna click cancel and go over to the Cortana search option. And in the search bar, type in File Explorer. The reason I like going about this in a different way is because you might want to transfer more than just photos and videos. You might also want to transfer music or other things. So click on File Explorer. And then under this PC, your phone is going to be located somewhere in here. It just depends on what kind of phone you have, what it's named. Mine's called GM1917. Yours might actually be named something that is more recognizable, but then I'm gonna click on internal storage. And these are all the different file folders that are on my phone. I have my music folder. The DCIM folder is probably gonna be the name of the folder where your camera is located and where all of your photos and videos are. In this one, I'm gonna actually show you a real world example. I have three video files that I need to transfer from my phone over to my PC to make this YouTube video. So I'm gonna select the DCIM folder and then I'm gonna select the camera folder. And I have two video files that I need to transfer over to my PC. So I'm just gonna drag and drop those into a folder here that I have made. This is a specific folder that I have made for this YouTube video that I'm making. So I'm gonna drop them over into that. And you can see that it's transferring the file. This other video file is quite large. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to go through that uploading process. So I'm gonna skip ahead here. A bit and actually the third video that I need is from a particular application that I use to record on my phone it's called the AZ recorder and it's the most recent one that I did so I'm gonna also drag and drop that file over into that separate folder as well so now I've dragged and dropped those three video files over onto my PC so I can now make this YouTube video it's a real-world example I wanted to walk you through and again guys there's these different options that you can utilize Hope it was helpful. Subscribe for more. Hope to see you back here for future videos.